presents the Improvised One Woman Show. Please welcome to the stage Trudy Carmichael. Get your coats off, get comfortable, get comfortable, no rush, no rush. Hello, hello, and hello. I am Trudy Carmichael, and as you know, you are all my number one fans. Is that right? Of course, fabulous, wonderful. So, today and as, and as in every day, I am a Las Vegas lounge diva who likes to create shows on the spot, who likes to just take things that the beautiful babies out in the audience like to see and hear, things that you enjoy, I like to sing about. So, for instance, um, if there is any kind of um, song genre, song style that you happen to enjoy, uh, you know, feel free to shout that out right now because we're gonna create a cabaret together and I wanna know what kind of song stylings you like to hear. So anything at all. 
What was it? Motown. Motown. Fabulous. We haven't had any Motown, have we, John? Oh my God! Incredible. Wonderful. And what about from your little babies over here? Alternative Depeche Mode. Oh, I love it. Oh, little Depeche Mode. Are they from Australia? Where are they from? New York. Oh, 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 yeah, they're London. They're, they're London. London. Oh, that's right, they're London. Who's from, who am I thinking of that's from Australia? I don't know. John's from Australia. Kylie yeah. Minogue? Maybe Kylie Minogue. You know, yeah, did, but she didn't do, I mean, she was like 90s, yeah, yeah. you know, like, but more like glam. But, um, I don't know what her brand of music Celine was. Dion. Celine Dion. Celine Dion, a little Celine Dion. Well, my heart will go on. <laughs> okay, fabulous, <laughs> fabulous. This is very good. This, it's a, um, each one of you, let me just tell you, represents a thousand people. We've had about 10,000, 15,000 people in this house. Um, so today, it's a, it's a more intimate uh, audience today. And um, so, I, but I'm very impressed that I've gotten three different suggestions that in this whole entire month I have not received before. Usually people are like jazz, blues, rock, sometimes they'll be a jerk and say something like, you know, heavy metal, death metal to me. Um, so I appreciate your, and Celine, I love Celine. Fabulous. And the other ingredient that, um, that I love to get for this kind of cabaret is a suggestion of something that we can sort of turn to a song title or a title of the overarching show. And all that is, all it needs to be is something that's been on your mind, something that maybe you overheard in the street, you know, somebody say to somebody or to you. So take a moment, you know, just think about it. Um, I'll just give you examples of things that we've had before. <laughs> Everybody has, of course, litter and garbage, depending on which country you're from, um, on the brain. So we had litter and garbage about three times in a row, three or four times in a row. So anything that's not garbage related, what we can do. Um, and then we've had, you know, um, you know, uh, I just can't surprise my daughter, or wishful drinking, or uh, what was some other... John, can you remember any of the other things? Converting koalas into Christians. That's right, converting koalas into Christians. That was a very wild show. Um, we had something about, um, what was it the other day? God, all the shows bleeding together for me. It's been, it's been a long <coughs> few weeks. It's been magnificent. But it has been, that's right, it has been magnificent, hasn't it? Can't believe it. This is the last of two shows. So. And now that I've given, I bought, I brought you some time. Anything at all that you want to just, you know, yell at me. I miss vegetables. I miss vegetables. Yes. Where are you from, baby? You live in London. And does London have more vegetables than they do here? Okay, because that's a, a kind of a major complaint is that you can't really find much that's green here, can you? It's right, it's a lot of white beige things. So I miss vegetables as well. All right, fabulous. <laughs> I, know, I love, I love love. Oh. Every night in my dreams, I Every night in my dreams I want to eat you But you're nowhere to be found Oh, what I would give for something green Something that's not yellow or white Vegetables. Oh, oh, I know that I'm not alone. I know I'm not the only one who's craving some kind of vitamin that you get, that you get from something other than just starches and beans. 
beef and potatoes and chips, so many chips. Oh, oh. Or some string beans, or maybe even a spinach leaf. But so far, that part of my diet's been incomplete. You know, we're all trying to stay healthy, as healthy as we can. I don't know, um, how long have all you babies been here in town, by the way? Approximately, how long? Oh, just a day. And where are you coming from? Germany. You're coming from Germany. Both of you from Germany? Where are you coming from? New York. Oh, you're from New York. I moved here. Oh, you moved here. Oh, how fabulous. So, well, when did you move here? Five months ago. Five months ago. Welcome to my city of Edinburgh. I just arrived a month ago. Somebody I don't live here. Somebody told me to come see you. Someone, who was it? Sabina Sayed. Sabina, oh my god! Do I do know her. How do I know her? Is she at the she magnet? Was, she was at the mosque. I don't know. She was at the mosque? How do I know her? Maybe we're Facebook friends? Oh, fabulous. Do you ever go to the magnet theater in New York at 29th and 8th? No. No? Well, you missed it because now you moved here. So, when do you go back? Yes. When you go back home. Oh, fabulous. It's always fabulous to have another New Yorker in the audience. Um, I, because I spend a lot of time in New York. Oh, that's incredible. Well, um, I, I, I feel like I know that. <laughs> I know that name. I will try to look her up on Facebook and put a name to that, a face to that name. I'll show you later. Yeah, well, you'll, I'll, you'll show me a Facebook later. We'll, we'll make those connections. Oh, such a small world, though. Oh. It's a small world, thanks to social media. It's such a small world, thanks to being able to meet you in a Facebook group online, or on Instagram, or what used to be Vine, TikTok, I guess. Oh, that kind of anxiety of, you know, like facial blindness, where I worry, did I need to in real life or on a screen? Or maybe on a Zoom in lockdown? Oh, it's so overwhelming, all the possible places I can meet. Oh, That we now have so many outlets for connection. But I find that it's kind of ironic that the more friends I have on Facebook, the less friends I actually have in real life. Oh, it's such a small world made even smaller by social media. I know it's a business tool, a networking way to go about living, but I'd rather live, I'd rather be.
it's it's dizzying. It's very overwhelming. So, um, but Sabina, I I want to know I want to know her. Now I I mean I appreciate so much the recommendation because I should have had her tell more people to come from New York. <laughs> now in retrospect, she did a good job. She got you here. Um, but I was saying, oh, so you know I've been here for the past month. How long have you been here? Two weeks. Okay, fabulous. So. <laughs> I don't know if anybody, have you all heard about the fringe flu? It's a, well, it's a thing on the social media boards on Facebook because, of course, when I decided to come to Fringe, I joined every single Facebook group I possibly could. And everybody warns you about the fringe flu. Everybody's going to get the fringe flu, and it's going to knock you out. And it didn't exactly knock me out, but it did take my voice away for a couple of days, and so I had to cancel a couple of shows. And... I mean, it was just, there was just no way that I wasn't going to get it because, again, I can't find a balanced diet here <laughs> where I feel like, you know, something that's going to boost my immune system to keep me from getting sick. Oh, it was only a matter of time, only a matter of time when I would find myself becoming ill with something less divine only a matter only a matter of time there's just no way to keep yourself in shape like you would at home when you're on holiday I mean this is no vacation no vacation for me no I'm working every day working every day oh there's no way there's no way there's no way there's no Circulating hundreds of thousands of people. It's only a matter of time until they get to you. Oh, 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 there's no way, no way to escape. This ain't just another holiday. just had to go to the pharmacy and buy some extra vitamin C, throat coat tea, and oil of oregano, and steam in my face until I was blue in the face, oh, oh there was just no way for me to escape, there was absolutely no way, I wasn't gonna get sick. Ooh, that's a lot of French blue. What else could I do? What else could I do? best you can, you know. You just do. You just have to have to keep keeping on because what choice do we have? And what brought what brought you babies here? Was it specifically to see the fringe by the way? Sure. Yes? Oh, sure? Cool. Okay. <laughs> sure, sure. Was that, that was it. I mean it could have been something else. A lot of people are coming for the tattoo. I'm trying to hire for my You're trying to hire her to do what? <laughs> A job. What job? My, my I'm trying to court her, so go Oh my god, is it working? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Fabulous. Well, wait, I want to know, what do you do? Oh, I work uh, at a bank. You work at a bank? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Oh, are you an investment banker? No, no, operations. Operations? Oh, that's a whole world I know nothing about. <laughs> Although I do wish I knew more money people. I sure could, I sure could use a backer. Oh, a big time producer. Oh, yes, because it's pretty damn expensive. <laughs> bringing a show to Edinburgh. Oh, there's so much to pay for, like renting a space and getting your face printed on all kinds of flyers and posters. Oh, I wish I had a backer. So do you know any money people? Oh, can you, can you send them to my show? Okay, fabulous. One more show to go. Tomorrow's the big one, but we're gonna have all the, all the financial backers come. I mean, are you a producer by any chance? No. What, what do you do? What, you're a musician? Oh my God, do you play piano? A little bit. What are the, do you play other instruments as well? Oh, fabulous. Are you performing in the fringe? You are. Fabulous. Okay. What is the show? Do you want to plot kids? <laughs> oh, so never mind. Then we don't care. You don't care if people go to that. Yet you're just you're there to provide the backbone support. You're me. Oh, to, and to see me. Oh my God, that's so nice. Thank you. So, well, okay. So you're not a backbone, but you know you appreciate that. Everybody needs. Money, 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 money makes the world go round. Bless you, John, bless you. Oh, everybody needs money, and money makes the world go round. Oh, I wish I could meet a big-time producer, like, you know, I don't know, Scrooge McDuck, we're in Scotland, right? That's what all my friends said when they heard I was coming to Scotland. They said, will you meet Scrooge McDuck? Because all of my friends are childish. That's pretty much their only reference for somebody Scottish. Sorry, Ali, is that, that's completely ridiculous, right? I would say so. <laughs> What, what did you I've, say? I've never seen DuckTales. You've never seen DuckTales? I've never seen DuckTales. Oh my god. Well, you're a little baby. That was like 35 years before you were born. <laughs> I know the theme it was, It's a very old time cartoon. Every Saturday, I would sit in front of the TV and watch Saturday morning cartoons. That was how they programmed all us children. What was that? For his for Oh. Yeah, he said to, to give you a wee signal. Oh, at, for, at 43 minutes? Are we really at 43 minutes already? Uh, 43 past. Oh, oh. no, um, yeah, past four. You still got tons of time. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, that doesn't... I was trying to do it silently, sorry. Oh. <laughs> I was like, hello, I, I didn't know if you wanted to talk more about DuckTales and shed my heart and, and say that, wait, I have seen them. I do know what you're talking about. Um, no, oh, no, 43 minutes past when we begin. Okay, That's sorry, right. my bad. Because we were doing, like... <laughs> You're seeing behind the velvet curtain. <laughs> You're seeing. It's the fifth wall now, it's Yes, right now the it's the fifth. Wall. Yeah, the four, instead of the fourth wall, it's the fifth wall where we open the Oz. That's the that's Ali back. back there, right? Yeah, it's coming back now. Exactly. Yes. What? Let me see. What time is it? Okay, it's four forty-five. No, we have like another hour and a half to go. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> you're trapped. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right. Exactly. We do. Yes. Well, we leave and there's another show entirely. Um. So that's our two-part show. Anyway, you know what? Oh, hello! Hi, how are you? Why did you. Important business meeting. This is incredible. We have another member of the audience. This is true magic. Thank you. 
Thank you for upping my average of audience <laughs> members. Because somebody said if you have, because I noticed I had at least three tickets sold today, and I was like, first, where's the third person? I have to go on no show. And now, a surprise guest to round out the audience. Now we've got the equivalent of 4,000 people, because as I said before, you missed this, but each person here represents 1,000 people. Each person is a thousand people, so we're like doing very well. <laughs> Welcome. Where were you coming from? <laughs> oh, okay. So you 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 came here just for me, but you were here in the room before, so you ran back to Frankfurt and then turned around and came. <laughs> okay, because you couldn't not. Yes. I am like your siren, aren't I? <laughs> Just calling to you Laura, from... Yes. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for coming back Like a sailor on the seas Sailing around at midnight suddenly Hearing the call of Trudy, come to me, come to my show. This also goes for all the people in the courtyard. Come to my show, my heart will go on. Another Celine Dion reference. Oh, I mean, it's not, we're almost totally sold out up in here. But we could always use a few more people in the house. Welcome, really. I, I mean, I, I, it's an open door policy. Anybody can, is a free to leave or come as they go, come and go as they please. Preferably, just come and stay until the end. Um, but that it's. I've had a couple people just kind of wander in, and it's. Hey, you know, it's hard out there for a pimp. And I, I just, I welcome everybody, no matter, no matter who, no matter where you're coming from. So, did you just arrive today as well? Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, I want to know everything. <laughs> I want to know your whole... What exactly, what time did you get here? About midnight. Oh, that's right, I know. It's kind of funny. You expect this little town to stay open from dusk till dawn. But in certain parts of town, they've got to lock it down. They can't stay out all night. So I guess we're all going to get our beauty rest. I guess Edinburgh knows what's best. But everything is kind of different. It's not really totally back to normal yet. Of course, if you go down to Cowgate, here's a little insider information. If you're looking for the late night scene, I was coming back from the Pleasants where there was definitely a pretty large presence of party animals, if you know what I mean. And on my way home, I saw that they do have a bar or two that's open until they said 5 a.m. on the sign. Oh, those three sisters, they're partying until the middle or just the breaking dawn oh, the party will go on somewhere the party's always happening
happening somewhere even though things are still kind of off not really back to normal but that party is still you just have to know where I was tempted to stay out stay out really late but I was just wandering around just myself without any date and so I said hey Trudy maybe it's time to call it a night go back and get your beauty rest I'll leave the little tiny babies on Calgate to do the rest to stay out until 5 a.m. rolling around in the garbage what do you think of the trash in the street? <laughs> it's unique, right? It's character building. You know, that's one way to look at it. When you know, I mean, you know, New York City has always been less than pretty and kind of gritty. So when I first arrived, it didn't faze me at all. I was like, I don't know, it looks pretty normal to me. I didn't even notice it when the strikes first began. But now I have started to notice it. It's piling up. But I still stand with the bin workers. I think they need to get paid what they're worth. So let the trash flow. Let it go. because it's the end of the festival the end of the festival no one's gonna lay around like a vegetable it's the end of the festival everybody's gonna want to blow it out real big before we all have to go back home oh it's gonna be spectacular fireworks over the that's what I hear. Have you all, have you all ever been to the end of the festival? You do? You did? Why? COVID is preventing the fireworks? Did the fireworks get COVID? <laughs> really? Who did you hear that from? Money. Is it just the money thing, maybe? No. I mean, usually I'm completely sold out, sold out on every single show, or you can't even get in. But this year, I, I'm lying. I've never done Edinburgh Fringe before. This is my very first Fringe. But I'm hearing from people that audiences are smaller, and um, you know, a lot. Everybody's struggling a little bit. So, oh no, I was so looking forward. Have you ever seen them before? But over the castle, it's supposed to be like the, the big whole big thing where they flood the castle walls with fireworks and then they like spill out from the top. I know but it's supposed to be even bigger. I want more. I want more fireworks. I thought I was in store for more fireworks. I was promised fireworks! Actual fireworks, I mean. I've seen the 
them every night or I've heard them. And they, they scare the crap out of me when I'm walking down the street. And I forget that they're gonna happen because they reverberate around all the buildings against all the stone and cobblestone streets. And it's so loud that I nearly put myself from the volume of the fireworks. But I still want more fireworks. Oh, that's so disappointing. Maybe I can, I don't know, raise a firework fundraiser or something to, you know, at the end of the festival and get them. Oh, that's so sad. How anticlimactic. Yes, let's try a Motown again, John. I love Motown. I need love, love, something like that. Oh, 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 that's good, yes. Ooh. It's been a long, long road that we've going, that we've been going down for the past few weeks. So many ups and downs, so many smiles and frowns, so many triumphs and disappointments, but it's still pretty good, it's still pretty cool, being in Edinburgh, oh yeah, I wouldn't trade it for anything at all, oh, I'm gonna have to go home. bit malnutrition because everything all the food that I'm eating is somewhat lacking in all four food groups but I've still been having the most spectacular time and I'm gonna miss it when I'm gone oh still hope for those fireworks, I'm not gonna lie. I can't get it out of my mind. I've got expectations that I've tried to, I've had expectations, and I've tried to keep them in a realistic place. But the firework thing, that we need to stay. Any other shows lined up, like planned, that you're going to see while you're here? She's the boss. You're the boss. I know. I, I can tell. She, look what this one's being courted from both sides here. You're a very lucky lady. My gosh, how fabulous! I mean, that happens to me every once in a while that I've been courted from both sides. But it's been a little while. Oh. Oh. To be. What's your name again? Michaela. What is it? Michaela. Michaela? Okay, fabulous. That's a beautiful name. Oh, to be Michaela just for a day. To have two suitors in both ways. Oh, one to her left and one to her right, courting her all through the day and the night. Oh, to be Michaela for a day. You've got just the most incredible aura. It is intoxicating. 
That's what they call me. Oh, how are you doing, my baby? Good, fabulous. You look gorgeous, by the way. I just, that's all I just wanted to tell you. <laughs> oh, yes. Are you, have you been having a fabulous time so far? And, oh, you have seen lots of things? So is there anything that stood out to you? I mean, besides this show, which is obviously a favorite, um, is there anything else that you have a recommendation of? You saw comedians doing wrestling? Oh my god. They, were they telling jokes while they were wrestling? <laughs> what is it happening here in this in this venue? No, it'd be Oh, it only happens once a year. I'm all scarred wrestling. How did I miss this? I'm all scarred wrestling. Are they doing it on the Royal Mile? Or are they, what are they doing? Also, not my show. Oh, right. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, that's fine. I, you know, we can we can plug other things. I'm very generous with my. You know, you're a very generous diva. But that sounds fascinating. But I've already missed the wrestling comedians. Okay. Oh my god. Are they in a wrestling ring or just on a stage? In the assembly? Of course it's in assembly. Oh, those people. They do crazy things over there. That's fascinating. Well, I mean, I've never really been into wrestling that much. Are you, are you all into, you know, this, that kind of physical violence? Or I mean, I'm sure they're doing it. Is it like for real or is it like a WWF, like a WWF really? Right, okay, so it is like a, like they're really just pretending to. Yeah, oh my gosh. Did you like it? Was it good? I mean, it sounds entertaining. <laughs> it does, it, maybe I should get some wrestling for my last show. Maybe that would draw a few blood. Okay. That, Matt, now you made a real jump, but that's okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I mean, um, I, I would, I think he, whether I was pretending or not, I would probably lose. I'm not much of a wrestler. I was never a bodybuilder. 
this, but the suggestion of this show was, I miss vegetables, right? Yes, I miss vegetables. So, I know, but I just want to understand why I'm referencing making vegetable references throughout this show. Just to catch, just to catch you up. So, I never was to be a big Muslim bodybuilder or wrestler, but separated from each other <laughs> and that would make me so so sad that thought that's how that's how they knew they had an empath on their hands because I was I would just get so sad I'd be like I can't not let you see your friend and they'd just say please my friend's inside let me in and then I, I would cry and eat vegetables at the same time until they were all united in my stomach. Little did I know they were all being destroyed together. But it worked. I ate my vegetables. And I ended up, you know, actually, I ended up liking vegetables after a while. Because I was also an only child. So basically when you're an only child, you want to. Do any only children here? No, not a one. No, not your. Everybody has siblings? OK, fine. The cheese stands alone! The little lonely, only child who ate her vegetables stands alone. That's fine. Because 
guess what? From now on, you're all my siblings. <laughs> you're all my family now. After we've been through what we've been through today, in the past 40 minutes or so, 40 or 50 minutes, we have grown together like stalks and like vines. We have grown together stronger and shared our minds, creating a beautiful cabaret that was all tangled up and harvested. I mean, I still miss my vegetables. I hope that I can get some. I think that I may have to take some supplements Until I can get back to the States where it's not much better But still properly await So I will be reunited with my vegetable friends Oh, thank you for being vegetable friends I let you all I let you all in even though you were late I said hey I think that's pretty great better late than never oh better late than never I always say ah, now we can harvest working for me very well but if you happen to meet anybody wrestlers or vegetable lovers or other other fabulous people um, on the street please tell them I have one more show this is it the final number babies just one more show to go and um, I would love to have them also if you would like to leave any kind of review either on Twitter or on the um, the performer page on edfringe.com, the Trudy Carmichael, where you purchase tickets online. You scroll down to the bottom and there's a little place where you can leave an audience review. I welcome that. Of course, raves only, please. If, you, if it's not a rave, just put it to an email to yourself so you can get it out of your system. But other than that, please give a fabulous round of applause for Johnny Thorne on the keys! Yes! Thank you. Oh, fabulous. And thank you to Ali back in the booth there. And thank you to all of you babies. I'm Trudy Carmichael. I always will be. Good night! Thank you. See you soon. I'm sorry, all the shows are yeah, my friend told me. Where are your high Oh yeah, I know. Where, where are yours? <laughs>